You should be excited. We're gonna be looking at Henry Cavill. Cavill? Cavill? I can, We're I can gonna be look looking at him at... anytime I want to. Great. Thank you, smartphone. Thanks for coming on this video, Jenna. Appreciate it. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. And I'm his wife, Jenna. Today, we're gonna dive in to Henry Cavill. 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 S Superman, whatever he is. The Witcher. For my friend watches, we just got done watching this weekend Superman, and I thought he looked fantastic. I've dug into some superheroes in the past, into their physique, physique? seek to their physique, to their nutrition, all that. It's just kind of my thing. If you're new to this channel, I'm a personal trainer, a registered nurse, and I have a sub-certification in behavior change. So I wanna dive into Henry Cavill. I've done zero research. I want this to be initial live reactions and because I planned nothing. Henry Cavill, let's start with his workout. It is Cavill, nailed it. Henry Cavill. That's what I just said. Workout. I've only seen the first Superman. I have not seen Superman v Batman and I might run into some things, it's gonna be fine. And here we go. That is real, real loud. During which, Cavill said he was doing some horrible rowing sprint thing, and I said, I can't do this, Mark. I can't, I'm done. And he said, no, you're not. Don't listen to the lies. I kept on pulling and pulling until suddenly I realized- He's a good trainer. Two a days, man. I mean, he's an actor. He's treating this like he's an athlete, which I love. And that's what it takes to get into this type of shape, this, this illogical shape that you see, um, like, it takes hard, hard work. Um, mm -hmm. Respect, man, respect. Getting big is one thing. Staying Superman-sized, however, is an entirely different story. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, got to up the game every year. <laughs> Henry Cavill's twice daily training sessions may have helped him get jacked, but once filming actually started, that regimen went out the window. Still, the Man of Steel was able to minimize the detrimental effects of a reduced workout regimen, thanks to the ultra-solid muscle base it built. Twite explained, Stable fitness requires a wide, solid foundation. The deeper that foundation, the more stable that condition will be, and the easier it is to maintain. That makes total sense. So the patience that you have through years of training, or in his case, you know, months and months of training, that's gonna build a great foundation. So during times of shooting, where he doesn't have the time to put in two a days, or you know, an hour and a half, two times a day, um, he already has a great foundation. And when you're eating really well, when you're eating ample protein, enough calories, you're gonna hold on to that muscle. The actor needed to get nine to 10 hours of sleep every single night for five Might months. Yeah. Quite explained to Muscle and Fitness, if you don't get the sleep, if you can't recover, then we can't continue with this training and we won't achieve the objective. The HGH and testosterone secretion that happens during these deep sleep cycles is super important. This is so spot on. And earlier in my fitness career, I really slept on sleep. I, I did not put much stake into it. And um, I used to believe that it was uh, three pillars of what made fitness long-term and sustainable for you or the basics. And it was mental fitness, nutrition, and the physical activity. I now truly believe that it is mental fitness, recovery, uh, nutrition, and then the physical activity. It's the sleep, the recovery is just so, so crucial. And how it talked about right there about the actual chemicals in your body, your hormones, and your ability to recover. It's just so crazy important and it's very, very overlooked. Cavill's trainer highly recommends ending any Superman workout with something he likes to call the tailpipe, which was given its name because as Twite says, I've heard this called the finisher. As Twite says, quote, when you're done, it feels like you've been sucking on the tailpipe of a car. Oh Basically, God. you row 250 meters at full speed, then hold two 24 kilogram kettlebells in the rack position and repeat three times. Mm. After that, your lungs will certainly feel the burn and you'll be able to get more out of each subsequent workout thanks to the increased lung capacity and stamina. Yeah, this was, this was one of the most impressive shots in Superman. I don't think I talked about his physique at all. Real, real lean here. Um, not crazy lean, but the size that he has on him, fantastic. There's a misconception that cardio will negatively impact muscle. A larger work capacity can allow you to train harder and longer. Building muscle without conditioning is akin to having an impressive engine without a gas tank. It's worthless. I can so agree with this because I there was a point in my bodybuilding career that I lifted weights, lifted weights, lifted weights, lifted weights, but it got to a point where I was just so short of breath because I didn't have any cardiovascular endurance. Sure, my muscles were big, uh, but I couldn't push past any farther, and that's when I started looking into dynamic workouts to, to more, I guess, whole body movements, uh, compound movements, than rather just like the bicep curl, you know? What's it been like for you now upping like your cardiovascular endurance? Like, 
now that you do go back and forth between cardiovascular endurance and then working out like muscular, like building muscle, like what's that like? Is it different? It's fine. All right, fantastic answer, love it, so good. Cavill frequently takes lessons from 10-time Jiu-Jitsu world champion Hodger Gracie. In an Instagram yeah. post, he wrote, my BJJ has slipped by the wayside a bit with my focus. The Gracie Academy is like all time of, of martial arts, man. I, I don't wanna talk like I know a lot about the realm, but I, hoist Gracie, you know the name Gracie, man. It's that's dope. While training to become Superman, yeah, Cavill would generally eat between 3,500 and 5,000 calories per day, including regular post-workout shakes. He explained, yeah. you've got to eat protein first, then a little bit of carbs. You've got to keep your hunger levels going. Unfortunately, uh, Guinness is what I crave, so it's not <laughs> ideal for the six-pack abs. Yeah. Getting 5,000 calories meant roughly six meals per day. Yep. HenryCavill.org lists samples of the 3,500 cool. and 5,000 calorie meals. I'm a nerd. I want to look into this. So majesty. classic bodybuilding, it, eating six times a day. And this is something that I don't believe you have to do if you're, you know, a general person just working on your general fitness. Uh, when you're an athlete like this, you have got to replenish what you have. Um, I, I definitely don't feel like intermittent fasting is something that you want to do when you're trying to build this amount of muscle, maintain it. Uh, and this is, this is what you have to do. This is the life of bodybuilding, of really putting on muscle. Being Superman requires inner strength. Dwight told Muscle and Fitness, genuine accomplishment looks and feels different. It cannot be faked. By doing physically difficult things, by changing his body of his own will, Henry changed his attitude and his bearing. He looked huge, he walked huge, his attitude broadcast his physical capability. Goosebumps on that. Oh my gosh, so good. I ripped it out of your ear. I apologize. Basically what he's saying here is when you aren't being forced to do it, like when it's on your own will, there's so much development that comes from that. Somebody can force you or say, you need to go do this, you need to go do this. It's not really your idea, but when you consciously say, I'm going to do this, and then you have the accomplishment that comes from that, and then when you also have, I think, the time in it, you know, looking back and being like, I've been doing this for, you know, one month, I've been doing this for six months, two years, 10 years, like the level of accomplishment that you get from that is, uh, it's incredible. When you see your body change, what it does up here is incredible. That was actually a fantastic video to cover. We'll do one more. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Let's talk more about the nutrition. This guy is a beast. He's like, would you look at that punk? Yeah. Look at it, tough. What is, what, what is he, what is this guy craving right here? This guy, he's just like, huh? Uh, well, it's he's many unsavory things I'm sure he's craving, but. Yeah, because you got six pack abs. Yeah, six pack abs. Unfortunately, uh, Guinness is what I crave. But generally, sort of off movies, I tend to be off season. Sure. And. Uh, <laughs> But do you gain it? But do you gain weight back? Uh, yeah, I put weight on and then lose it again before we start shooting. Because when you go on the diet as Superman, what does Superman eat? <laughs> he eats a lot of things. <laughs> well, name one. Uh, I mean, okay, it depends. If I'm mass building, then I'll I'll eat burgers and stuff. Calories. Get them in. Get the protein. Get the carbs. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. I I love that he touches on that. I'm glad that he. He didn't go the opposite direction uh, and be like, no, yeah, I'm, I'm constant. I constantly look like this. This is just, this is normal every day. Cause it's not, it's for a movie. And I think a lot of people forget that separation. They're like, they, they do that comparison game. So don't. Mass building, that's what they call it, yeah. yeah. So that you're just trying to get your arms bigger. So yeah, exactly. Your chest. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Um, but then when you. <laughs> <laughs> you're a really cool dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like looking up, I'm feeling nervous. Yeah. You're cool too, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, but I mean, I would never ever even come close to having, a, you know, an arm the size of your arm. Comparison game. I know it's for the show, but still, you get what I'm saying. Your arm's the size of my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but, but now you, it's not like you just do Superman and you take time off because you're doing the uh, Justice League movies as well. Yeah, oh. Justice League. I think we start pre-production on that in January. Didn't know that. I mean, so you don't really have that. Well, January, that's a little time. Yeah, plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Time to get yeah. fat and then lose it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. It's perfect. <laughs> to work really hard to get in the fat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And can I just ask just for just for, for cardio's sake, what do you do for cardio? No cardio. Uh, no, I run. <laughs> That's See? a savory answer. Yeah. So what is the real answer? You... I think they get it. <laughs> oh. I think. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That's what you do. Well, probably no shortage of women for him. You burn a lot of calories. I mean, I try. Yeah. You, well, hey, go for it, buddy. <laughs> we didn't see any shirtless pictures. Okay. All right. You want to look at shirtless pictures? Shirt, just Google shirtless images, okay? Shirtless Lucy. <laughs> See, there you go. But I mean, that's the same shot we've already seen. See, and there you go. Like, is that him? Yeah, that's yeah. him. 
See, that's where he's stick. Look, it's the Witcher. Yeah, we're not doing the Witcher. We're doing we're doing Superman. Looks like there's a lot more of Henry Cavill that I'm gonna end up watching. We're diving into the DCEU as of right now, and I'm excited about it because I've been wanting to go into this realm. Regardless, Henry Cavill seems like the nutrition he's really doing fantastic with. He did a great job. Two days, heck of a guy. The dude looks fantastic. I, I don't know, why did we stop that? <laughs> the dude looked fantastic in, in Superman. Uh, like, really impressive, a lot of size. Was that the first in the DCEU? Yeah, yeah, you missed the first one of the DCEU. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there's more Henry Cavill to come. Looking forward to it. I appreciate you sliding by watching. Bullshit. Don't do the comparison game. Superman only looks like Superman in the films. He's a regular guy as well. Superman? You, no, he's Clark Kent. You <laughs> haven't even watched the movie. You, I watched some of them. You don't the have to ones. be perfect at this being Superman thing. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day. Why is the dryer running right now? <laughs> it's, that's the washer. That's worse. It's